Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for clicking on 5 News Web News. It is Monday, April 22nd. I'm Brittany Hoke. And I'm Matt Heckel, and here are some of the top stories we've been following today here on 5 News. Police need your help in finding whoever was behind an apparent robbery late last night in Morgantown. Yeah, according to the victim, two black men forced their way into a residence on Brockway Avenue before 1130 last night. One of them apparently had a gun. They then fled the scene in a vehicle. There's no word on if they got away with anything. Now, the suspects are described as black men who are about 6'2 and thin. One was wearing a black coat with a hooded sweatshirt underneath. The other was wearing a gray hooded sweatshirt. Anyone with information can call the Morgantown Police Department Detective Division at 284-7454. Well, Clarksburg police are still looking for the person who pulled a gun on a Long John Silver's employee, then robbed the place Friday night. That happened just after 8 o'clock at the restaurant on Pike Street. Officials say the man held a gun up to the cashier and demanded money before running away. There is still no word on the suspect's whereabouts. He's described as a white man at about 6 feet tall and 180 pounds. If you have any information on the crime, you're asked to call the Clarksburg Police Department. Their number is 624-1625. And a number of fires broke out across the area the past few days. The latest one just last night at a home on the border of Harrison and Upshur counties. This started right around midnight on Upper Rooting Creek Road in Johnstown. The Upshur County home was fully engulfed when firefighters from Lost Creek, Nutter Fort, and Johnstown arrived on scene. They were able to get that fire under control within a half an hour. Now, the owner was home at the time, but luckily got out safely along with his two dogs. It is believed that a wall heater may have started that fire in the kitchen. And a family in Barber County lost their home last night. This happened just after 6 o'clock in the Pleasant Creek area near Philippi. Fire officials told us that no one was at the home at the time, but they think that fire started in the living room of the home. Officials say that the damage is estimated at around $40,000. Well, the state fire marshal has released a little more information about a fire that destroyed a local business and damaged several others. Fire investigators believe a fire at Total Dental in Bridgeport started behind the sign in the roof area. The sign and its wiring will be examined by engineers later this week. Investigators are still trying to isolate the exact cause of that fire. Meanwhile, a Harrison County man had to be taken to the hospital after his home caught fire on Friday night. That one broke out around 1130 along Mulberry Avenue in Haywood. Emergency officials tell us a 60-year-old man was taken to a nearby hospital with burns to his face. No word just yet on what started that fire. Well, if you are a fan of the Colonial Restaurant in Weston, it could be quite some time before you get to eat there again, if ever again, after each floor in that business collapsed. Can you even imagine? Officers told us that the area was vacant when it happened, and luckily no one was hurt. There was no fire or any damage to the building, so police said that it was just from old age, weather, and poor maintenance. Well, the victims of last week's fertilizer plant explosion in West Texas have been identified. Authorities now say 12 of the 14 people killed in the blast were first responders. Of the 12, eight were firefighters and four were EMS personnel. Firefighters were at the plant battling that blaze when the plant exploded. The blast leveled homes and businesses near the explosion, and about 200 people were injured. And let's take a quick look at what our newsroom is working on for tonight for First at 5 and 5 News at 6. First up, a number of fires across the area this weekend. We've been talking about them. We're going to take a look at some of the damage they left behind. Plus, one week after the Boston Marathon bombing, we're going to take a look at how the city is moving on. And the sunshine stays, but the temperatures won't move too much. We're going to take a look at your first solar forecast coming up tonight on First at 5 and 5 News at 6. I am ready. For it to get warmer. I think everyone's ready for that. It's yeah. coming now. It's coming. That's I want those up. 80s here to stay. <laughs> well, you might have to wait for 80s a little bit. So, oh well. <laughs> uh, that's going to do it for us. Be sure to tune in tonight for first at five and five news at six. Until then, have a great day, everybody. Took the words out of your mouth. You did.